Imagine if you're seriously ill, and what would a doctor recommend? Have a blood test. What do they do in blood tests? They take a lot of blood, sort out the proteins, and look for a specific proteins which, is, which can be used for diagnosis. And how about the time? It takes a day, or two, or even more for getting the results. Some of you might be familiar with the glucose test strips for blood glucose level measurements. Glucose test strips can use the test for doing measuring the glucose within a minute using a finger prick of uh, blood. At the same time, it can be done by anyone. How about having such a device for doing tests for malaria, cancer, or any other disease around the world? There are a lot of equipments available at the moment which uh, gives you the necessary uh, testing chances. But the important thing is, all of these devices face a daunting task because of the amount of salt present in the blood. So my work is basically centered on removing blood. Just like how a perfect loaf of bread would require right ratios of flour, butter, salt, and yeast, a device that can do the blood test requires the right amount of salt. Anything above that would make the device not to work. So my research is specifically maintained on retaining the proteins in the blood, whereas removing the unwanted salt from it. How do I do it? Imagine you have a gold ring in your hand and you happen to drop it into the sand. How do you get it back? You grab the sand, put it onto a seed, the ring stays in the seed, whereas the sand passes off. The same idea is employed. I use a membrane which is having small pores in it. I pass blood along the membrane. Small part particles, such as salt, pass through the uh, membrane, whereas big, large proteins will be held back. These proteins can be conveyed onto an integrated device for doing the blood test. Using this idea, I've been able to remove about 99% of the salt from the blood, at the same time, maintain all the proteins in it. What's more, the results that I obtained during my research, it's not just meant for one particular device. By controlling the flow of blood, it's possible for you to control the amount of salt removed from the blood. Thereby, you can actually integrate this not to just one medical diagnostic tool, but to a variety, variety of ones. Because using this, it's quite possible for you to do measurements for different diagnostic tools for cancer or malaria or HIV and whatnot. To sum up, it's easy to do a blood test, but do you want to do it at home or in a hospital? Thank you.